Right, guys, every time I see or hear Professor Ferguson, the Doom Merchant himself, on the TV or radio, I literally have to laugh. Because let's not forget, this Pratt's models at this point have a 100% success rate of being flat wrong. In fact, I actually find myself asking what credible news agency would have this tosspot on their show. Then, of course, I remember none of these news agents have a shred of credibility left. And in fact, some might argue Harold Shipman has more morals than these septic spots on the arse of humanity. So naturally, they will keep kissing his ass despite the fact he went rogue during the first lockdown, belt feeding some other guy's wife the pork sword before being caught and getting sacked from Sage. Well, actually, he wasn't sacked from Sage, but they said he was. You know, to get rid of the old shitstorm that was surrounding it as it happened. Either way, though, that doesn't even matter. I say that because the reason we're talking about this ass wipe today is because of in spite of everything he has claimed in the last year or more being flat wrong every time, he has now decided to claim the massive drop in cases and deaths after 28 days of a positive test is something he predicted, which you all know is going to be 100% bullshit that even a politician would be proud of. This is something even the Piss Week Telegraph has called out today and rightly so. While the BBC happily promote his bullshit claims, they at least said, hold the fucking phone. Imperial College, Ferguson and the rest of them have all been pessimistic about everything for well over a year now. Except, of course, when it comes to Ferguson going round to belt feed sausage to some other dude's wife. Ferguson then is positive that was a safe course of action weeks or months after he predicted, what was it, 500,000 deaths with the help of Diane Abbott's calculator because I'm sorry to say that calculator there is the only way you reach 500,000 deaths, let me tell you. And in fact, you might actually remember, over the past eight months or so, we had more predictions from this toss pot. You know, the ones that said waves in the summer and all this bollocks that clearly won't happen, and let's be honest, never could. As you all know, it just don't work like that, even if soppy bollocks like Matt Hancock and Professor Fuck Pig here really wanted it too. Now, when I started out making this video, I was actually going to read through some of the Telegraph's article on this. But to be honest, is there even any point? It would literally just be a long way of me telling you this guy and Imperial College have been about as close to right as Labour were to winning the last election. In fact, it's actually laughable how wrong they have been on literally everything, but a sign of the shitshow country that this is. And also another sign that in future the same people will pump out the same bullshit models and predictions, like Mystic Meg, that obviously won't be based in reality. But like I said at the beginning, I don't really care about this toss pot. I just love seeing him talk more shit and actually get called out for it. As I've said before, it's a shame the corrupt and complicit media won't do their job and expose all of these liars and traitors if you ask me. Actually, if they did that, they would probably all be laboured collaborators, so the chances of them doing that are on par with Joe Swinson becoming the next Prime Minister.